Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, another word before work. And um, today, I'll be talking about your good heart that you have. You have a good heart. So, um, here we go. The word of God says, um, in Mark chapter 7, uh, I'm going to read verses 21 through 23. Um, Jesus here talks about what defiles the man. Okay, I got enough time. <laughs> but Jesus talks about what defiles the man. Um, he talks about how it's not what goes in, but what comes out. So, let me tell you how good your heart is. So, um, Jesus said this. I'm, you know, I'm going to start at verse 20 and said, And he was saying... That which proceeds out of out of the man, that is what defiles the man. Like I was saying, what comes out. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed the evil thoughts, fornications, thefts, murders, adulteries, deeds of coveting and wickedness, as well as deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these evil things proceed from within and defile the man. So, this shows right here that man's heart without Christ is not good. You know? Men's heart without Christ is not good. Um, you may hear a lot of people say, you know, I got a good heart. You know, God, God knows my heart. The thing is, he does, you know. And your heart, not to tear you down, is not good, you know. And this is the one thing that I love about Scripture. When Scripture starts reading you back... <laughs> When the scripture starts reading you back, I remember um, seeing that when I got saved. And I was just like, man, you know, I do think about a lot of these things that Jesus mentioned. And then the thing is, I didn't, I didn't want to think about it, but I knew I did. You know, first steps of coming to Christ is admitting and, and being humble, you know, being humble, saying, hey, there's something wrong. There's something wrong from from within because I'm thinking about this. I'm doing this. I know it's not right. You know, I, I know it's not right. And um, I just can't stop. You know, it's, some, it's humbling because... That's when God can can really do his work, you know. When you admit that, hey, there's something wrong. There's something wrong with my heart. It's the heart of the matter that, you know, it's something like I feel trapped. I feel trapped into thinking about these things. And I know this is not, this is not godly at all. This is a heart issue. And I need a new heart and good news the Lord wants to give you a good heart he wants to give you a heart of flesh a new spirit you know um, so many because I used to say this all the time before the Lord God knows my heart and he really does you know and he knows the intent behind the heart, too. So you could be in sin and God knows thing, like things behind your actions. Like he knew, he knows like those whose heart, like he already put in something from the beginning of the foundations of the earth. Something inside of him, like I'm going to get them one day. But it's, it's something how... Uh, he really just, he, he, 
he works on that heart. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's something how even in our mess, he still is like, that's the one I want still. That's the one I, I want to save. That's the one who my son is going to go to the cross for. That's the one. That's the one my son did go to the cross for. I'm sorry. But that's the one. That's him. That's her. You know? And, um, you know, it's beautiful because when you come to him, it's like, man, really? You wanted me and all my mess and everything that I did. Even you, you knew this. See, the Lord knows. He already, he broke it down what's in our heart. Adulteries, murders, thefts, fornication, evil thoughts, envy, deceit, bound to deceive people. You know, bound to envy people, bound to slander people, bound to be prideful, bound to be foolish. And this comes out of us. This is what defiles us. It's crazy. The Lord knows this and he still was like, I want him. I still want him. <sighs> crazy. But um, see, I, I broke this down about your good heart. Listen, I'm I'm saying this and kind of being sarcastic, but I just wanted to destroy the lie of you having a good heart if you're watching this. And not to tear you down, but just to show you that there's hope. You know, that's that's a lot of my messages. There's one side is like, okay, this is why. You know, this is why you need a savior. Then I give you that hope. So, I'm going to go back to Old Testament because it still aligns with New Testament. So, this right here is beautiful. Um, it's, it's beautiful. This is in Ezekiel. The Lord is talking to Israel because Israel has profaned his holy name. So, God is like, look, I'm taking back my holy name. And um, I'm going to start from verses, let me see. Verse 25, and he says it right here. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. <laughs> well, I just got, I'm going to read the rest. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. And check this out. You that think you have a good heart before the Lord. This is what he says, and this is what he promises. Moreover, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. <laughs> and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. He said, I'm going to remove your heart of stone. Uh, yeah, he said, I'm going to remove your heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. So I like the, 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 the wording right here because the flesh is evil, right? But then the Lord said, I'm going to give you a heart of flesh. So, Lord, what is it? So, flesh is evil and, and, and sensitive, can be sensitive, you know. So, the flesh, you know, the one that's at war with our spirit, that's contrary to our spirit, that's the evil. But he says, I'm going to give you a heart of flesh. The heart of flesh is sensitive. So, he says, I'm going to take that heart of stone, the heart of stone that, that just wants to keep doing evil that heart of stone that just doesn't care you can throw anything at it it's going to bounce off because of how hard it is and then i'm going to give you that heart of flesh so you can be sensitive to the things of the lord the things of the lord <laughs> so he said this what this what the lord says right here in verse 27 I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will be careful to observe my commandments. My ordinance, I'm sorry. But yes, the Lord wants to give you his spirit. That's the new spirit he was talking about. I want to put my spirit within you because without my spirit, you can't do this. Jesus said, I am the living water. So then we can break this down. 
from um, verse 25. He said, then I will sprinkle you with clean water on you. Then I will sprinkle clean, my bad. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. What did Jesus' blood do? Washed us clean. What is Jesus? Living water. <laughs> so he said, I'm going to sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. You will be clean. With Jesus, your heart will be good. With Jesus, you'll start, like I was talking about in my other video, you'll, you'll start desiring the things of the Lord. No more, you know, you, you like I said, you'll have that battle. The flesh and the spirit always warring against each other. But feed the inner man, feed the spirit with the word of God, with prayer. You know what I'm saying? Feed him. He wants to, man, he wants wants to overpower that flesh you, you you start feeding the spirit your flesh gonna be like yes master to the spirit I'm telling you so this is for the ones you know who think hey i have a good heart god knows my heart he does and this is why he says he wants to give you a new one a heart of flesh and take away the heart of stone so he loves you that much and um I pray that this word touches somebody. So y'all have a blessed day, night, afternoon, wherever you're watching it. Peace.